A biting criticism of President Trump this morning from Puerto Rico's governor, who has avoided such criticism in the past, Ricardo Rosella, suggests the president has dodged meeting him with him about Hurricane Maria recovery there, and he says the people of his island are treated like second-class citizens by this president. His harsh words come a day after the president took another swipe at Puerto Rico, this time complaining to Republican senators at a closed-door lunch about the amount of disaster aid spent on the island. Sung Min Kim is a White House reporter for The Washington Post. She joins me now to discuss. I mean, really a remarkable outburst from this president, again targeting Puerto Rico, uh, claiming $91 billion in disaster relief, saying not a single dollar, additional dollar, should go to the island. First of all, that number is not right, is it? Is there any evidence $91 billion going to Puerto Rico? It is the number that he's told Senate Republicans, according to our sources, but we are not quite sure where he got that figure. I asked some congressional officials whether that is close to the estimate that they have gotten for the amount of Puerto Rico aid. Um, it is difficult to kind of quantify how much exactly how much federal aid each states have gotten because the way those numbers are calculated. But $91 billion does not seem to be the correct figure, and we're not quite sure where the president got that. It is similar to um, figures for the total amount of damage to the island. So perhaps mm -hmm. that must have been, that could have been what the president was referring to. Yeah. But, the, but the point that the president was trying to make to the Republican senators inside the lunch yesterday was that look at states on the mainland that got, um, that got hit by hurricanes as well. You know, Texas got uh, much less than that. South Carolina got far less than that. Florida as well. So he's questioning why Puerto Rico, in, in, with the numbers that he was using, was getting that much money. And it's yeah. just another example how the president has repeatedly tried to pull aid and reduce aid to the island, which is still recovering from the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. Yeah. I mean, the number's wrong, it appears. And, and by the way, Puerto Rico lost by estimates, at least in the day of and the months after, some 3,000 people. What is, what is behind this here? I mean, does he perceive a political benefit from this? Because it fits a pattern, right? Uh, he talks about cutting aid to California, a blue state, after fires there, Puerto Rico, largely Democratic voters there, U.S. citizens, I should remind folks who may forget that, Alabama and Texas in the wake of natural disasters there, the president talks about with Alabama A plus aid. I mean, is this about rewarding those who support him and punishing those who do not? Well, there's certainly been a pattern, at least rhetorically from the president, about the way he treats uh, disaster uh, states that have been hit by various natural disasters. I mean, you referenced the wildfires in California, and he actually blamed the California governor for some of the conditions that had, you know, caused the wildfires, uh, similar with Puerto Rico. And also, but again, notice a very sympathetic tone that he takes towards, you know, places like Alabama, where mm -hmm. which got hit with horrible tornadoes uh, just recently. But um, it Politically speaking, I mean, this Puerto, it, it, it's a really difficult situation for Puerto Rico. Clearly, they do not have senators. They don't have that proper representation to have um, elected officials fight for the aid that they feel that they need, that the that the island is saying that they need. Uh, the two Republican senators, uh, Marco from Florida, Marco Rubio and Rick Scott, have kind of tried mm -hmm. to take on that mantle of defending mm -hmm. Puerto Rico and putting um, and and trying to fight for sufficient aid to the island. But they are fighting against the president that has repeatedly sought to cut aid. I mean, recall as you also in the in the debate over the border wall discussions, the president has asked his advisors, could we use Puerto Rico aid perhaps to pay mm -hmm. for the wall? So this is going this has been an ongoing issue for some time. I will point out there is another uh, a looming issue for the administration when it comes to Puerto Rico. The HUD's inspector general told Congress yesterday that it is now investigating whether the administration tried to actively interfere with Puerto Rico aid. So that is something that we'll be watching very closely in the coming months. And just, just finally, in your reporting, when the president was making these comments, do, do you know if any of those Republican senators challenged him or did they sit back and listen? They kind of sat back and listened, and while many Republican senators are sympathetic and do want to provide um, aid to the island, a lot of the Republican senators also came out after the meeting and saying, look, you know, he made, the president made these his case about aid to Puerto Rico, and he they kind of sympathized with, with his arguments to some respect, but there is a standoff coming in the Senate later this week. Uh, the Senate is advancing a disaster aid bill that Democrats say, particularly Democrats who who control the House of Representatives say does not nearly go far enough. Um, so we'll see where uh, Congress lands on that at the end of the week. Yeah. 
It's one thing to challenge in person, another thing to do it later. Far away, Singman Kim, thanks very much.